I want to start with Brian Ortega. Can you put into perspective what he accomplished? I mean, coming in on short notice and then being the first guy to finish Frankie Yeager. Give us your thoughts on him tonight. Yeah, the guy, the guy's so incredible and, and well-rounded. You know, you think when he goes in and fights Frankie Edgar, you'd bet anything that he's going to sub him if he's going to win. And then he goes in and knocks him out in the first round. You know, this kid is super talented, has an incredible personality. And uh, the fact that we now have a title fight with him and Holloway. Holloway looked incredible against Jose Aldo in his last fight. And uh, I'm excited about this. How excited are you about, about this matchup? I'm ready, and this is something that for the longest time was just a, just a vision, you know? And then now it's, it's actually a plan, and it's still surreal. It's the biggest week of the year for the UFC, International Fight Week, but sadly the storyline that's quickly stolen the spotlight here in Las Vegas is the mystery of Max Holloway. This started on Monday, and um, he went through a bunch of tests at the hospital, and they thought he was fine. Then, you know, he did that interview, with, with Michael Bisbing and, uh, you know, people started to realize that something wasn't right. Well, Max, you say you feel great and, you know, don't be offended when I say this, but you look like you just got out of bed. Are you tired? What's going on? How's the weight cut? You know, are you drained? I mean, you, you look a little sleepy. Ah, uh, I'm good, man. I'm good. A little, a little bit tired. They got me doing a bunch of media stuff, but I'll be fine, man. I can't wait. I can't wait to All go right. out there and do that. Good thing. to know. As I say, no offense, but you just look like, you know, you ready to fall asleep on me there. <laughs> <laughs> you know, people, some, some people think it's concussion related and some people think it's weight cutting related. So they haven't really got down to the bottom of what it is. But uh, according to him, he feels fine, and, uh, but obviously he's not fine. So we're going to continue to uh, try to figure out what's wrong with Max Holloway. Yeah, guys, some very unfortunate news. I spoke to Max's manager just a moment ago, and he told me that uh, the team started to feel like Max was not acting, quote unquote, normal late last week. Uh, they said that he was showing concussion-like symptoms uh, earlier this week. He is officially out of Saturday night's fight against Brian Ortega. Brian Ortega, um, what do you do with him in the meantime? I mean, do you have any idea of like, getting him another fight? It sounds like maybe you tried to put something together this weekend. It didn't happen. Um, what, what's the next move for him? Literally, Jeremy Stevens will not stop blowing me up. He wants this fight so bad. He said he'll take it on short notice with the hopes that, that Ortega will accept the fight. Ortega has turned down the fight. And is uh, Brian Ortega's answer absolutely no, or d does he still have time to change his mind on Steven? Well, his manager's sitting right in the front row here. Uh, is it an absolute no, or is it a maybe? It's no. So you never even considered any other options. Once you found out that Max was not fighting, you said, I'm just going to wait, right? If it's not for the belt, then it's a no-go. It's good to hear from you, Max. How are you feeling? There's a lot of concern about your health. Could you tell us how you're feeling right now? I'm okay, you know, I'm okay. I'm going to fight again, but that's all we know. You know, as of right now, I'm good. Brian, we've, uh, we've seen the reports out there. I don't know if, it, if Yeah, I've seen them too, man. MMA Junkie posted something up. I was like, okay. <laughs> Beat me to the punch. Well, I was going to say, are you able to talk about me? Is it official yet? No, nothing's yeah. official, man. Till I Trust me, till, I'm always the kind of guy, till I sign the contract, I, I'm the first one to post it out there. But... There's years in the game who hear things, you know? And uh, and yeah, it's true. We got we got the call and they offered us to fight in December. The UFC made it official this morning that Watanai's Max Holloway will make his long-awaited return defending his featherweight title against Brian Ortega in the main event of UFC 231 on December 8th in Toronto. Holloway, as good as he is of a boxer and a kickboxer, and he is damn good. He's got that length, he knows how to use it, but he's weaponized pace, and he jumps on you. And whether it's good technique or bad technique, when he's throwing that many things at the wall, something's going to stick. The thing about Max Holloway that's so interesting is he has that sort of Nick Diaz approach, where he's not hitting you with all of his might. Mm. He's not throwing Very these haymakers unless he's got you hurt. Until he's got you hurt. Once he's got you hurt, then he's just fucking whipping bombs your way. But until then, he's just constantly on you, just constantly peppering you, constantly on your kick, knee, punch, move forward, move forward. And you're just dealing with him and trying to breathe. You don't get any breath. 
and he just keeps that pressure on you. Brian Ortega is a totally different animal. Though. Totally you different can, animal if he gets a hold of your neck. You cannot fuck around with that dude on the ground. We're talking real high level jujitsu. I don't think people who are watching him are yet 100% aware of what he's capable of. He's a fucking killer on the ground, dude. He cinches shit up at one of the highest levels I've ever seen. He, he's so fucking nasty he's a off of his setups. back. He's a million, a million setups. setups and the fucking dexterity of his legs. And when he cinches shit up, it's super high level. Delatory's in a world of trouble. That's it. That's it. Wow. Max is a big son of a bitch. He's long and he's tall. Ortega's got a weird body for that weight class too. He's big, he's tall, got that great jujitsu. So does Max. And then you deal with that pace. And who is better than who in that? And once you think you have that question answered, that's the guy who plays the best. Tight, buckling tight. Uh, Blister is still in full effect, and uh, we're only finish up the year with a bang. 